Hi, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, episode 8. Okay, so what happened last time was we finally caught up to Bill and Javier. Bill, I tried not to shoot him, but he ended up pulling a gun on me, so I had to, so he is no longer with us. And then Javier, we caught him, and then we turned him into the Pinkertons, I guess, or the police. Um, And so now, apparently, we're allowed to go back to America. Few things. I'm excited to see my girl Bonnie. Haven't seen Are we going to see her? I don't know. I'm hoping. Yeah, okay. S- yeah, Me so, too. So hopefully we'll see Bonnie. Hopefully we'll get to see our family. But I do know that we're going to Blackwater to find Dutch Vander. Oh, yeah. So I guess we'll see where the game takes us. It is... 11.30. No. It is 6.58. Yes, very good. So the shorthand's the hour. Yes. I'm leaving. Okay. Hello, John. Hello, John. So let's see. Um, oh, I don't know what these are. We might... Eva and... Oh, wait, what? I did this one last time. I thought so, too. That's interesting. What? Let's go see what's going on. Huh. Did we fail it? Yeah, we did. So that's really interesting. It's giving us another chance, you know? Come on. So let's finish up our business here, and then we can go back. I'm trying to see what this is. What's this chain? The little birds here or something? Oh, there's... It's like, um... Um, bull skulls. That's weird and interesting. Hmm. It is. Cool. Bye. Come on. Huh? Let's see what they talk about. May I sit? Let's see. They usually talk about... The army was holding a female rebel prisoner there, a young girl. Parece mentira. Talking about Luisa. People tell me that she is the lover of Abraham Reyes. Mm-hmm. You believe it? Yeah, they're talking about Luisa. Many soldiers were killed. Pues ándale. John's like, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> you should write that down, friend. Bye, gentlemen. He said you should write that down. We're flying. Oh yeah. We got places to be people to see. Eva yeah, we is in peril. Once again. Oh my freaking Paris took on my nose. Maybe it's part two. Well, but remember I failed the quest, so yeah. I don't know. It's just so weird. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Eva, why are you in pair? Oh, wait. I wonder. Okay. I wonder if it's just gonna, like, Mario is somehow gonna be alive again, you know? Yeah. Because I know I killed him last time. How are you alive? Maybe you have to pay him. I know, but we found out what happens when you pay him. What? Remember? She ends up dying. Oh. So I'm not doing it. Goodbye. Yeah, good idea. I'm sorry. Look, I'll kill him again. If that makes you feel any better, Eva. I don't believe Bitch! Oh. Nice. Be free, Eva. Go live your life. Yes. Hello, honey. Okay. So, do you want to go do Agent Ross or the question mark? Question mark. Sorry about that. See what we get into. Let's go. Yes. Let's see.
Hello. Maybe it's this person. Howdy, ma'am. No. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. I can't. Good looks can be deceiving, pal. <laughs> Perfect. As honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that for the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward. Can you tell for me who the person is I'm going to look for? Yeah, that would help. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. John's always doing something good for somebody. He is. I know, seriously. I oh, guess he's a good guy. Oh, it's a, another political <laughs> opponent. Let's see. Hi, right, American lobbyist. So, we know what you did last summer. And we've got pictures of it, yes, too. Yes, we do. I'd love to look at the pictures. I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it this guy? No. Oh, I need to find the front door. I think I'm in the back right now. I would say so. We're just going on a little jog. You know, yes. John, he... Been on the horse a while. Yeah, he's got a stretch dim legs. This office? Okay, fuck you. Piece of shit. Oh, come back between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. So, that's that. What time is it? Um, it's... Oh, it's freaking 1.30 a.m. No, what time was it? 1.30 a.m. Remember the short hand Damn of the it! Hour. That's okay. Freaking 6.08. Oh, yes. Very good. Where the hell? Where is he? Maybe I have to check back between a certain time for this guy as well. You know what I just said? No, but not for the police, it didn't say. But. Oh. Delicia. <laughs> You're saying that because we've been watching that show. Yes. Come back between seven. Okay. <sighs> so I'm just standing in the rain. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, literally. Oh, let's see what time it is. So I have to kill like a little bit. Yes. Other people are out at this time. Why can't we be? So, okay, you want to do the question mark, you said, so. <gasps> yes. I'm so sorry! Another woman. I know! Wow. What is this? Newspapers. I wish I could rain. pick one up. Where is the paper mm, boy? Mm, 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 mm. I know, boy, but John's go. cutting a rug. He is. He's got energy this morning. How oh, wow. That? You like that? I like that move. Smooth. Thank you. You've embarrassed John. I you. have. He embarrassed himself. Damn. Sorry, John. You heard that. Okay. You guys better let me the fuck in. I guess not. Just gonna wait <laughs> until they open. <laughs> Can you imagine people were really waiting that way? People do that. Whenever I was working at Bob Evans, people yeah. would literally show up before we opened. Really? No, 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 no. When I was working at Olive Garden, we opened at like 11 or something like uh -huh. that. And people would literally like be like. Wow. And it's like, guys. Yeah. They got to get those Nokis, mom. Then no doubt. I don't blame them. I know me neither. Honestly. Good stuff. What time is it? Oh my god. Oh, 
And yes, we wait. Let's go mess with the NPCs. Alright, first one we see, we're knocking over. Okay. Do you knock somebody over on the horse? Uh, I don't know. Not so fast, no, Parker. You be more careful, sir. <laughs> He said, ow. Oh. I know he did. That's funny. Look, it says ride horse. Oh, wow. Let's see. Am I going to get in trouble for this? Probably. I'm gonna need the horse. Ah. Yep. He'll get in trouble for that. I'll give him this horse back. <gasps> Someone just saying? called me a P word? Oh, no. Do you think? I'm sorry. Slow it down, will you? He don't even want his own horse. You highly offended him. There's a train. You want to do a mission? No. <laughs> if I have to do one more train mission, that's it. I'm done with this game. Okay. No way. Oh. Can't mess with him. That's a police officer. We will oh, not be wow. pushing him over. No, we won't. Because we want to stay out of trouble for now. Yes. But once John's not in trouble. Thank God! Hello. Hello. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying, backstabbing bastard, I like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a <laughs> fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> How's that man. funny? Because he was just talking trash about him. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Why is that funny? Good question. Okay. Look at him telling me to get that. I know. What? what? What's going on? Ma'am? Hello. Okay. Me, miss. I ain't all there today. Sorry. You can't be standing on chairs in a police station. <laughs> I guess you can if you want to until you get pushed off. Not on my watch. No, not on your watch. Let's go on the gazebo and see what we see. We're going to get some money. For blackmailing somebody? Oh, yeah. Um, sir? Oh, I had to be on the other side of him. Thank you. Let's see how much you got. Look at these two. $18. Oh, you got 924. Oh. There's nothing I can do about it. Excuse me. I gotta go file. I wish you could hear what they were talking about. Sorry. Okay. It's obviously private. It is. All right, bear one another's burdens. One oh one, one oh two, one oh three, one oh five, one oh. One oh. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. One oh seven, one oh. Nine. Edgar Ross. One thirteen. Upstairs on the right. Yeah, thank you. Reminds me of customer 14. service today. Oh, is he about to? One fifteen. Oh, I thought he was about to kick his ass. One sixteen. One seventeen. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. 
No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down. Yeah, I'm doing your fucking dirty work. Yeah. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Not by the likes of you. Anyway, Ridge. Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Wow. After you, sir. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. <laughs> 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. <gasps> oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. How funny. Hello, Wes Dickens. Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems <laughs> I'm being put under arrest and charged with <clears throat> narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 344. 345. I wouldn't be sticking around. I wonder what he's counting, because he keeps missing numbers. Yeah, he keeps skipping them. Oh, we're going in a car. We've leveled up. Yeah, we have. And we're not even driving. No, we're not. I don't think they'd want to see John drive a car. That's true. We've seen him drive a horse. Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Fordham. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. Mm -hmm. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Okay. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Serendipity. Right, let's go, Mr. Marston. Oh my god! Keep quiet and stay close. Okay. Yes, sir. Vanderlyn is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I am. Thank you. No doubt. You guys have my fucking son and wife hostage. Like I didn't just go to Mexico for who knows how know. long and do their dirty work. Like I'm going to fuck it up now. You think they'll give them up after this? Or you think they'll want one more thing? I think they'll want one more thing. 
I what do, do you think? think? Okay. I think so, definitely. Quiet, don't you think? You tell don't me. say the word. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. An informant better not have been oh, lying God. to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Of course you yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Hurry, there's somebody up there. God, you're making me nervous. Her informant. Oh. Dustus, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. I got it women in the plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, here we need we to get him to safety. Can I see people off the end of the ship? Oh my god, okay, 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 yep, 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 I can see him. And they see you. They see me, most importantly. Oh, hello! Nice. Stay that guy ain't me. shooting nobody. What'd you say, Mom? That guy ain't shooting nobody. No, he is not. Wait, there was someone up there behind us. Okay, well, whatever. I guess let's just go, you know? Absolutely. That's all of them. Come on, let's head for the pier. About to say, I do not think that's all of them. What do I know? Yeah, okay. exactly. Nothing. Apparently, a whole lot of money. I couldn't have said it better myself. That was too easy. I think that because I was still on the boat shooting them, it made it so for some reason they couldn't shoot me. Okay. Yeah. You say that like you don't believe me. No, I do. I believe you. No, no, I'm just joking. Um, sir, I'm carrying a fucking person on my shoulder. Can you not try to push me over? Yeah. Gun away, John. Just worry about running. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap, they were waiting for us. And who is the savage, a prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Oh my god. Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk. 
Or social secretary or some such. Just shut your mouth! What's wrong, Agent Ross? Little bitch. I cannot skip to the destination. Sorry. So now we just wait. Patience is a virtue. Yes, it is. It's cool we got a car, but it goes off as slow. I know, and we're not driving it. That's true. That's the good news. Come oh, on, no. not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Oh, well, crap. fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Boston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. Dead. Let's try again. Yes, let's shall we? Shall we play a game? Nope, three shots for that poor guy. He didn't deserve that. No, he didn't. But he got it. He did. Lot of them. Dang! Pudding tang. Mm -hmm. Ask me again. I'll tell you the same. You done with that saying? Oh, yeah. You gonna add to it? I can't oh. see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. The horse is just like, oh, damn, yeah. that was close. Well, lucky kill to be you alive. Kill one the I'm beginning time. to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. A bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. That's exactly what you said. So what yep. now? Do I get to see my family? Where no. is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. Your family. We should take the Indian to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with him. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? I do my best, sir. What is Make wrong with sure that doctor? Do. He looks a mess. Professor yeah, he does. McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston. Just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. That's a good fellow. Hello. And he's gone. Yep. Okay. Vanish from the thin air. Mm-hmm. What's the, the oh the tailor. Okay. Um I think that let me see. Yeah, just Agent Ross. Ross is my only my only option. 
Oh, or I can do this one. McDougal or Agent Ross, what do you want to do? McDougal. We're already here. We are. Boom. Oh, incredible. He looks Super rough. Incredible. I know. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, oh, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. Really? I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, oh. no. Wow. So it's such a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. Hell yeah, I let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Why is this guy coming with us? Good question. Thank you. You have known you need the doctor. Do our bit for That's humanity, true. Mr. Marston. Come. Sorry. Let's hurry. Stay close. Okay. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with the people out yeah. there? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man, although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. These trees are quite foreboding, Nastasha. Uh, are you sure this is the right way? Huh? Is there a problem with your horse? No, there's not. <laughs> yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, yeah. mister. Good Let me get away from the rock. I rarely leave my room. Oh, no, I explore the mind, Mr. Yeah. How do I keep running into stuff? Because you're a terrible driver. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. <laughs> I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. 
Oh my god, I hate the professor. Yeah, he's annoying. He is. He's like he's like making all these racist comments about him. And yeah. then whenever the guy like says like oh like all the trees are gonna get cut down, he's like, oh like I am sensing some anger. Shut up. Yeah, really. Yeah. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Okay. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Who's Goodbye, the point gentlemen. coming out? I don't Enjoy know. Yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate this. Now, how are you going to get up? I'll probably reach down and grab him, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is your arm that long? Yeah. His, his, he's going to reach his arm, too. That would be tough yeah, to do. Yeah, it would. You and a strong man. Look at the rabbit. I was just looking at that. Big ears. Cute as a button. Cute as a button. John? Oh shit. Oh shit. Hurry, grab on, grab on, grab on. Yep. Damn. You're on your own, See dude. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Okay, then. Well, guess what? Look at this. The game found it for me. Okay. Okay. Here's that bunny. Try, try, try again. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a little climb situation right here. Oh. Boom. Look at me. I'm strong. You to be are. able to do this this quickly is crazy. Yeah. I can't even imagine somebody being able to do that. Me neither. But I know somebody could. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's a cave over here. It might go through or up the mountain. Okay. Oh my god, it might be for time travel. Ooh. <laughs> Yes, look at this. A mine shaft. <clears throat> Nicody Vaught. I was just looking at that. Hope we find Dutch. I do too. Is he wanted dead or alive? Mm, I think he just wanted dead. Oh. This way. Get in. Come on, boys. You can do it. Come on. Oh, perfect. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. My God. You saw after you did. You already did. Holy crap. That was scary. You okay? Oh, he got stabbed. He got stabbed? Or, yeah, like, at least... The guy had a slashed. knife? Slashed. I think so, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know. Holy crap! Oh my god! Stop it! Stop shooting me. I don't know! I don't know! Oh, you guys scared me really bad. No okay. doubt. Oh, he's okay. Good. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. 
OK, I'll, I'll go take up. on an entire we'll gang. See you on the way down. Bye. What else is new? I know. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Thank Good you. Luck. Consider it done. Don't have to tell me twice. Hey, don't I need a beaver for something? I guess not. We're not getting it. Oh, I just, did I hear a bear? I heard something. I did too. I'm hearing a bear. Huh. It sounds like a pig. Yeah, I'm not liking what I'm hearing, I gotta be honest. Oh my god, is that a part of this? Can you just shoot him? I guess I have to kill him. No, please! Please, 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 please! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Get away from me! Okay. I choked under the pressure, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Sorry. Sorry, little guy. And then a little about that guy. No, we'll look at him. He was just a baby. That's a big baby. Yeah. And we're climbing. Oh. Just jumping. Maybe here? Oh, there we go. I knew you had it in Now you? we're talking turkey. Can you? I was about to say, John? John. Johnny boy. Yes. You're embarrassing us. God, Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Freaking new. Freaking new. Okay. Love that movie. Me too. Oh my god. What the hell? Dutch has got freaking wildlife on his side, too. Oh my, oh my god. god. Why are you shooting straight? It's, it was dead eye. It wasn't me. Oh. Uh -oh, how do you do this? You gotta jump? Maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. No! Oh, nice. No, not nice. I have to climb back up again. Yeah, but you're alive. You know what? That was very positive of you. Thank you. That is true. Maybe I do need to go that way? I guess I do. Yeah, I guess I do have to go this way. Oh, oh, I can climb here. Okay. Oh. Or not. <laughs> Can't even do the easy one. You can do the hard ones. <laughs> Mom, John's nervous, okay? Oh. His yeah. hands are probably freezing cold. True. He just had to kill a bear and a mountain lion. You know, he's have a busy some, man. Have some freaking respect. Eagle flies. Reference to Red Dead Redemption 2. Yep. There you go. I know. Jesus Christ. You're sore by now. Yeah. How would he have not heard the gunshots of me killing those animals? Yeah. Walked over fire. What? Huh. Oh, I probably need to use my throwing knives. Yes. I guess so. Okay. There. Don't fucking do anything, you piece of shit. Damn it, fuck. Because you're too far away, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna try again. What's 
that shining green thing? Oh, right here. It's binoculars. Looking for evidence of Dutch. Wow, I'm not seeing it a lot. No. Gosh, this is a nice little camp. We never had anything this nice. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. <gasps> Damn! Oh crap. Is that Dutch? That's Dutch! Wow. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! How they came back here? Um, probably, hey, um, Mr. Nasta. Marston. He said he was gonna, like, be around Get stuff or away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. Oh. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm gonna leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <clears throat> hey. I'm sorry. So I see you got a trophy for it, but we didn't get Dutch. No, not yet. We're still working. Okay. Oh, okay, wait. So we can either do a Agent Ross mission or another one with the other guy. Another one with the other guy. Don't you think? I don't care. Oop. Looked like he's moonwalking there for a minute. Maybe I was. Doing, you psycho. Yeah, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally go. solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god. You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir. I shall. Mark my words. I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, mm -hmm. sir. I have a way to say it. Both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir. So he's gonna bring Dutch. Allegedly. That'll be interesting to Follow see. Follow me. Mm -hmm. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. Get, get, quick, man, quick. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I think it's all the cocaine he's on. Yeah, it is. Life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Hello. Yup. This is it. Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. 
Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No, kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Whoa, man. Shoot it! Shoot it! Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Come on. That's a kill. Huh? My god, that was terrifying! Did I say we leave before any of its friends turn up? My goodness, I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. Oh, very you well sing for you to say. Yeah. Perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir. Here we are. Oh my god, my horse oh, is going crazy, I'm sorry. Don't look a very friendly bunch, do they? I think oh. you're the one on cocaine now. <laughs> oh, oh I assaulted him! Sorry. Alright, no, no, no hurting the other people in the quest. They certainly brought a lot of fellows with them. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. He said he was gonna get him. Huh? Um, the guy said he was gonna get him. Yeah. He don't even seem to have a gun on him, but you know. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... But I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Ooh. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Who is he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damned weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <gasps> oh, shit! Damn it! Touch! Oh, get down that now. sucks. Follow me! Kill the stars! I will give you a quick Marston, death. you have to get us out of here! Stay down and keep quiet. Get down, the top guy. Whatever you do, please don't leave me in here. Auto aim did that, not me. Sure. I feel terrible. I don't know oh, about you, Professor, but I say this we can get out of here. My horse. Yes, let's get out of this hellhole and back to civilization. Slow it up. Wait, we didn't find Dutch. Um, well, yeah, cause, well, on, we were meeting on. Dutch. We were meeting um, people who are in Dutch's gang. Oh, I thought we were after Dutch. Uh, yeah, I mean, but... at this particular time. Oh, no. Dutch is a hard man to get a hold of. He is.
I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Oh, the bullet holes he has. I see you aiming. Yeah, because I just wanted to zoom in and look at his. Oh. I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy. I'll probably never sleep again. 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 Oh, no, I love it. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. All right, Agent Milton. Hey, What's the green square there? You can buy a house here. Oh. Or maybe I already own a house? I think it's blue when you want to buy it. I think that might be a house we already own. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. What? Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? Sure. This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear the shot rough. at them from there. Mm -hmm. It's rough being on the roof. Absolutely. God, look at you about to fall off. I know. Hello. Oh, beautiful sunset. Mm-hmm. So nice. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Okay. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. You ain't no meter that I've seen before. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Okay. I beat tougher outlaws than you. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. They shot him dead! They're coming out! Gun them down! Wait, what? Why are you shooting? We can't let them get away! Oh. I'm not good with a sniper! Oh, I think I got his calf. That's good. This is start. Check the bank Take windows. Out those snipers in the window. There you go. They're in the window. Pick them off. Oh, I keep missing my shots. I'm the worst. Can you change guns? Uh, I don't know. I wish. Maybe I can. Don't let them yeah. escape. Maybe it's too far away. Maybe I need the sniper. Oh shit. I don't see anyone to shoot, you know? Yeah. I oh, will keep shooting to keep them happy. This is annoying. Maybe you should get down and run. Can you do that? Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Oh, you Sorry. did it on purpose? Yeah, because it, uh, it was nothing was happening. That's for sure. Nobody shoots until I say. Okay. Got don't it. Shoot. That man is a hostage. Oh! 
Sorry, I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm no saloon sheriff. I'm Guy Crossfield. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. I will not shoot until you give me the signal. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. Crossfield always. The bastards killed. Hold your fire. Don't let them escape. Biggest gun. Yes. Get the man at the window. <laughs> Don't let them escape. Who? Who's escaping? Oh, this guy. Okay. Okay. Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them. We can take them. Let's move. They'll come to the windows from up top. Maybe you can. I like to think I can. Yes, me too. Shoot the lock off that door. Boom. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Watch Let's out, Ross. Wait, more, guys. Okay, easy. Let's easy does it, please. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Do I have any medicine? No. Hell off when she's back! Oh my god! Help me! I ain't no medicine, Indian. You're a Do not tell me how to be pissed! Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrender, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. Poor lady. Oh, don't kill her. You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. 
Used to ride with us. We all had her. <laughs> but wow. he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Damn, damn. poor girl. I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's fight. Yeah, how the fuck did he run out without anyone seeing him? Die. Oh, just stole that horse, but that's fine, I guess. Trace Dutch with Agent Ross. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. Why'd you kill anybody? Is this our gang? Yeah, this is like the the police. So oh. Great Dutch, what a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? It kind of reminds me of you. Yep. The violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. Bro, My side is chosen. So annoying. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah. I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Do they all really sleep with Abigail? I don't know. I'm not sure if he was just saying that to get a rise yeah. out of him or what. That's what I wonder. I think that Abigail was a prostitute before um, John met her. Yeah, or while she was with the gang. Like before her oh. and John. I think. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I remember someone saying that. Oh, hello. I think I might have just killed an agent in props. Maybe not. Sir, please don't shoot me. It's very inconsiderate. Who's shooting at me? Stop it! Right now, whoever it is. Oh, man. Had to happen, eventually. Let's see if we have a better angle if we shoot from up here. Know what I mean, Joe Green? I know what you mean. Is he using the shotgun? He's using a fucking shotgun. No wonder he's not shooting anyone. There we go. Now we're talking some turkey. Yep. John, oh my god, John, if you fucking die, I'm gonna be pissed. Knocking him out. Yes, I am. Yeah, I guess I had the fucking shotgun equipped for some reason. Don't ask me why. I'm don't asking. ask me why. I want to know watching. I know, and I don't know where the fuck he is because he's shooting me. Let's 
the hell? I'm just taking a long thing. Oh my god, there's more people. Oh, this is the cabin we were at. I'm glad you remember. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hello! Oh, John! Okay, oh, that's not great. John, John, I swear to freaking... Goodness gracious, if you die. Die already. Shoot, John! We don't have- Oh my god, John, I'm gonna fucking take your ass, mother of chucker. You guys are such bad shots, it's crazy. I know. Nice. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> oh my god, I hope he dies. Okay. What's next? Oh! I just got minus 75 honor. I wonder why. Wow. What is that over there? Are those wolves? Yeah, I think it's wolves. Okay, so I think the only thing left. Oh, we're all the way over here. There we go. Is Mr. McDougal. What is this? <gasps> Bunny Man! I guess that Bonnie McFarlane's done with me. This is so sad. I know. She used you and abused you. I loved you, Bonnie. As a, in a platonic way. Because John's married, you know, of course. Of course. Well, of course, of course. Excuse me. Get more one of their piece of you. That was really rude. Let's go. Uh-oh. I thought he was a goner. No. You shot enough animals this video. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we didn't get Dutch. I know. Maybe this mission will get him, you know? Yeah. Come on. He keeps Come slipping on. through our fingers. He's a slippery little bastard. He always has been. Yes, he is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Running over the signs. Always. Yes. Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. Oh, you're leaving, huh? What's going on? <sighs> you leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! Oh. I think we all are. Not me, sir. 
I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. I wonder if he kicks in that fast. Is it oh, in your brain? I think it kicks in pretty quickly. Is that you, John? <gasps> Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you Kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. I will follow Mr. McDougall. John, help me, John! Stay what, back! What has happened already? Has the buzzer blood? You are a wow! You're quite a guy, huh? What do we do now? They've got us pinned down on both sides. Now we shoot. Stop being a freaking jerk. Please just shoot, John. Why, why, why do you crouch every fucking time? Okay, good. He did it anyway. That's great. Were you, were you a bat? Oh, no, that's a cop. So I will not shoot him. Why does he do that? I don't think I'm doing it, but maybe I am. I don't understand why he does that. What do you think you're playing? A shootout in this town. I think that's nice. most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on. Come on then! Let's make a break for it! Let us. Come on. Come on, John. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. You're just running on roofs like it's just no big deal, mister. Does it every day, probably. Apparently. Honey? Out of 
Okay, let's yeah. go. Said we're going. Might be here. Oh, Me train station. I unfortunately will not be so lucky, and I have to stay. Still no Dutch. Mm -mm. Come on! Oh my God! There's more of them. <laughs> Guys, please don't kill me. No, really. Let's go. He took a shot right through the heart, I think. How do you know you're going the right way since you have a red line? Because I'm following this guy. Oh. Kind of even though I'm in front of him. Hurry! Damn, that was a good shot behind you. Thank you. Come on. Do what you can. I do. Here we are. Finally. Jesus. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Bye. Oh, Best how sweet. Ever. Look at John, he's like... I don't know about this. <laughs> so long, Professor. So long, sir. He forgot his bags, I guess. As long as you have your life, that's all you need. I guess it is. Ow. And he says he's from Connecticut, so maybe he has like a house there or something. Yeah. We have a thousand dollars. I know. How nice. We're rich. Okay. Let's see. All right, well, back to Agent Ross, I guess. I guess so. How do you get more medicine? You have to find it. Yeah. You have to buy it. Oh, okay. So we need to do that, don't we? In theory, yes. In theory. Campsite. Well. What the hell? Oh, okay. I thought they were pointing that at me. What do you want, Marston? <laughs> My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. See, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, 
Oh my god, I was They're really not up. so bad. I know. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, <laughs> is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? No. Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech you made of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. We're back in a car. Yep. This is a big car. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Me back on the Gatling gun. Yep. What is smoking? I don't know. The engine, maybe? That's not a good sign. Mm -mm. Tis not. See ya. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Go quick. Take a look at this thing. It's like a parade. In all my born days, I never seen such a I never seen such a contraption. Look, they brought the machine gun. Hey y'all. Please, where's Dutch Vanderland? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. All oh, this for Dutch is crazy. I know. But you I mean, I guess. This, Mr. Marston? I guess he keeps so. making gangs, so. <laughs> Look at the flag. It's stuck. It's not moving. It's not. Honey, stay alert. Which way are they coming from, y'all? Left or right? Who's doing them? Can't I don't you know. Hold this thing steady for them. I'm trying my best, sir. I didn't see nobody throwing them. Get those men behind the rocks. Keep it steady. Oop.
my god! You killed too <gasps> many soldiers. American soldiers! Oh! How can you tell the difference? I don't know. The one I won't lie, I didn't think that was an American soldier, so. Sorry, guys. Take a breather. That was intense. Oh, my foot's itching. I'm gonna walk on the land. Quick, do something about that wagon. Okay, that did something about the wagon. Yeah. Come on, move. Come on, Oh boy! <gasps> was you in the car? Yes. I thought you was on a horse. I was on the back. No, I was on the back of that thing. Oh yeah, with the Kelly gun or Tommy gun. John, he was being nice. I'm too mad. Let let another man yeah. help me up. Uh oh. -uh. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? John! <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Let's move out. Let's go. Yeah. At least you got quite the army. Mm hmm. So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Yep. Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. <laughs> this is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. They said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once. A long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fellow you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Till those suits back there came and knocking. Threatened to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after him. Damn. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. All right, is this it? Are we gonna get that? It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals, with all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. When we get up there, it ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself. I can't believe Andor built himself a fortress in the mountain. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. Who's talking to me right now? Lord. Is gonna be very no, pleased. John! Nate Johns? What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning the filth out of this region. I don't think our old friend Dutch realizes what a great favor he has done us, citing all this hate among the natives. Oh. Like you needed an excuse. See, this is what happens when you fraternize the savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? How could you ever follow a man like Ross? Uh-huh. A psychopath, a murderer, and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. A far better man than you. Wow. So what made him this way? I don't know. Bastards like you. Seeing that things never change. Yeah, really feel. Yeah, literally. I hope you're ready to finish this mess. 
Anything to get you sons of bitches off my back. It's There's always somebody watching, Mr. Marston. I thought you'd have gleaned that much by now. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were clever. You thought you could just walk away from your own life. Make no mistake, we have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slug, Marston. Instead of punishing you for your crimes, we are giving you a chance to kill the men who betrayed you. Word you didn't to have shut to the fuck my up. Wife too. Oh, please. She's hardly innocent. Don't you talk about her like that. Oh, I would never talk ill of dear Abby. You call her Abby or Abigail? I prefer Abby. No, oh, I like the woman. A little rough for my taste, but very pleasant. <laughs> I can't wait to put a bullet in your head. He's like, what? <laughs> When will this be over? It's you who's been dragging it out, not us. What? We sent you to Fort Mercer with the simple task of killing Bill Williamson. Next thing you know, you're running all over Mexico like a headless chicken. And now it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your married band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm, or what's left of it. If need be, you can always send your wife back out to work. I hear she works hard. Go to hell! Everybody's going off on Abby. You! I know. Blow that gate open! We're about to. Move, soldier! Damn. Let's go! Come on, boys! Everybody move in! You ain't nothing but a bunch of women! You ain't nothing but a bunch of women! John, can you get your Son fucking gun bitch. out, please? I said this one. Shoot! Forward! John? Shotgun again. I don't know why he keeps doing that. John. Don't fucking kill me. Oh my god. I can't mentally handle it. Do it. Pop your head out. Okay, he's not going to. Oh, you're you just move. Let's go, man. Move into the village. Anyone with me? Okay, I'm gonna wait. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So that's perfect. Honestly, I feel like it'd be smart to have some high ground. So I think I'm gonna stay up here. Oh. I took the liberty of notifying the 
Undertaker for you. Arson, use that Gatling gun. We'll take him out from the rear. Bro, they always make me use the Gatling gun. That was. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. All right, men. Blow that gate open. Keep them covered now, Marston. Hold them off. We need time to set the explosives. Hold on. Hold Lord above. Don't you scot. We lost one. Keep them covered. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, no, please. Take cover, man. Here it comes. Oh, did that kill you? Oh my God, I was you gonna be. You're wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. I suggest you follow me. Look behind you. Oh. Okay. I'm ashamed. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Son of a bitch. God damn it. You'll never take me alive, John! I'll be the judge of that! Yep. Oh. That was convenient, there was a little ladder here. It's over, John! I ain't leaving here without you! Go, go, go! A gun! Holy shit, he crawls fast! Oh, yeah, he is. Lots of ladders. Uh-huh, Dutch is quick. He is. You can't erase the past, John. You're killing me, it won't make it go away. That's where you're wrong. Oh, jeez. Give up, Dutch. Just give up. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. Oh my god. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. Is he gonna kill himself? Oh. I don't doubt it. 
Oh god, are we gonna fist fight? No. We can't always fight nature, John. We can fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed. Yeah. I knew that was coming. Me too. He killed himself. Wow. John didn't even have to do it. Yeah. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. Yeah, right. So I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's home. Yay! They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Okay. Come on, Archer. Yeah. He always Let's does. go find somebody else we can annoy. I like the song. Eddie Tim. I wonder what Jack's gonna be like. He's gonna be a teenager. He's gonna be an adult by the time as long as we've been going. I know, seriously. He said 15 or 16. Yeah. I hope John gets farm a little bit. I know, literally, he gets to live his normal life. For five to... minutes. Yeah. Home sweet home. Oh boy, that was quick. Oh, yeah. Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit. I thought you was dead. I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where what? you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him, too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. 
Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair. You know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? Why are we fighting? Exactly. And it's over now. Jack! Jack. Hi, Jack. Here. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Oh, God. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. Ooh, his beard. Nice way to greet somebody. <laughs> Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking him. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. <laughs> Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Oh. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's Bye. stead. You can sell us some. Possibly. Now, Abigail, I hope you've learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. That's cool, yeah. If you had to be in prison. How do you do? How do you do? Are you ready? Let's haul out. Back to ranching life. Yep. We hope you would. Let's go. Come on, are you gonna get on? He's just standing there. I oh. know. Thank you, Jack. Good lord. Glad you could join us. Yeah, me too. You with me? Okay. Oh my god, he's with me. How are you me. feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met him while I was away. The McFarland's are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? Oh my god. Sure got a lot of questions. I don't often get a chance to ask him. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where what? do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Oh, thieves landing. Taking my son to thieves landing. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. Oops. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one oh, day. God. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. <laughs> like you, you mean? <gasps> I know I ain't been the wow. best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. Jack isn't an, as oh, annoying as was he it was. Something to do with Mr. Doesn't seem so. Tell? Why you went away? Who told you that? Well, I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess some of them. Bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. There's the ranch. Come on. Let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. Or Mrs. Sir. Oh, there you there. go. 
go. John Marston! Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. They'll have our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. There we go. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. All right, Jack. Oh. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. Well, John oh, Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Oh, yeah, I forgot all the cattle she made me herd. Yes. I think we did it twice. Uh-huh. Horses Ready? and cattle. Yeah. Come on. All right. 15 out of 15. How many do you think we're going to make it home with? Um, oh my God. 12. This fucking piece of shit's already getting out of there. Damn, y'all. What do you think you're doing, mister? I'm paying for you. You're coming to my ranch. Come yes. On, Come back and see you sometime. Maybe I will. Oh, what happened? Last I heard you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. Oh, yeah. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, uh, uh, the arrogance of you. He gets a little fur on his lip, and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's take after his father. You piece of shit. <laughs> How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. Thanks, It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. What are you guys doing? Come on. You guys shouldn't help me or How's the ranch? We're surviving, help. but it hasn't gotten any easier. If you're still struggling, there's not much hope for me. <laughs> Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Bye. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Call everything. Me funny, you dope. <laughs> Let's go. Get the hell out of here, you guys. Bye, Jack. Let's get him through the river. Do you feel better since you saw Bonnie? Yes, I'm happy we saw her. Finally. Let's go. Come on Come now. On. Get a little bath. Oh, that water looks amazing. Yeah, it yeah. does. You're doing a good job, son. Just lead him straight up the hill towards home. Will do, Pop. Oh. Hey, uh -oh. hey, hey, where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Oh, son of a bitch. Look at these guys. Uh-uh! Uh -oh. Where are you going? Yeah, get. You too. I need one of those herding dogs. Yes, I do. It's true. I think that's what they call them. I guess I'm the herding dog in guess this freaking situation. True that. Keep going, y'all. Oh, we got 15 and 15. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not getting away on my watch. I can see that. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Oh, my God. What? I'll deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. Am I killing these people? Damn! Too close! Oh, my God. Oh, 
I was afraid Jack I think was going Jack! Wait there! I'm coming! Okay, let's go. You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, on it. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Get here! Jack! Head left up the road towards home! I know where I'm going, Paul. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. I know where I'm going, Paul. Let's go. Let's go. All of you trying to escape all at once, really? Let's go. Hey, hey, what's up? You cows didn't see that. No, they didn't. Come on, keep it trucking. Come on. What was that for? What? What was that for? What are you talking about, son? Of a bitch. Damn. That's that's my wife I'm talking about. That's pretty fucked up. Oh. So bad. That's true, you were talking about your wife. Hey. Boom, thank goodness gracious. Yay! Alright, now lead him into the pit. Come! I can't believe we got there with all 15 of them. I yeah. expected to lose a couple. Do you have no faith in me at all? Whoa. Should I? You should! I literally heard it a million times in the beginning of this That's game. That's true, nice you have. Work, son. I know. We made Quite the pro. Did real good out there. Go on! Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. You better close that fence off. Can't make me. I guess not. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Mm -hmm. Did a good Don't job, tell your mom. Son. Nice shoot. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. You're barely a rancher yourself, John. Is that in call form? You'd be nice. Hey. Oh, clother, clothing menu added. We're going to bed, you guys. I'm sorry. John needs some sleep. He hasn't slept in a few days. Oh, crap. I can't go in the house. Oh, sh Am I not able to go into the house? Cause there was an X over there. Oh, good. I can go in the back of the house. Uh, yeah, I know. That's... Okay, good. Abigail, don't try to, you know... There we go. Good night. Nice, nice bed. Nice size bed. Yeah. Got a fireplace in the room? Override it. Good night, John. Night, Johnny. Bye, Rowan. John. Alrighty. Okay, so what was your favorite part? Well, obviously, I'm um, seeing Bonnie again. Really? I was going to say John getting to be reunited with his family. Well, that's a good one, too. True. <laughs> that's so funny. I guess you're right. That would be the first thing. Mom doesn't care. Well, honestly, I am kind of annoyed that, like, Abigail was yelling at us, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm sorry the yeah. government has been holding me fucking hostage. Right. So. But Bonnie and um, John did have chemistry. They do. They do. They do have chemistry. Definitely. If Abigail and John don't work out, we know where John's yep. going. Um, can't believe we killed Dutch. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of glad we didn't have to kill Dutch because whenever he was standing there, I was thinking, oh. I don't want to kill Dutch. I wanted to kill Dutch. I know, I know, but like, he raised us as a child. Yeah, you know? that's true. So I don't know. That's true. But um, but yeah. Okay. So, for the question of the day, I guess that this is a hard question to ask, but I'm gonna I like is it because they know the game, we don't. Yeah. But do we think John is going to settle down into the ranching life, or do you think? He's going to start getting back into the criminal life. I think he's going to get back into the criminal life. I really believe, I really think he's going to stay in the ranching life. You think so? Yeah. He's this question was down. more for us, I guess. Yeah. But whatever. Um, alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I need coffee. I'm tired.
Well, go get it. I felt it when we were watching that. I was like, oh my god. Have you had coffee this morning? Yes. I'm tired. Poor oh. baby. Stayed up too late last night playing Sea of Thieves. I'm sleepy. Okay, let's see who can do dog clips longest. We could do this forever. You lost. I know, but we could do it forever. We could count, be countless hours. Okay, well, I won. I don't think we could have done it for countless hours. I think eventually our face muscles would have gotten sore. And eventually, we would have that would have been a long time. But you time. gave up, and so I won. Wow.